Han är. Jag är en fråga om att påtre. Vi blir då arrein, vi blir. Vi blir med att få några samma. You have come to the right place. Don't be shy. Come on in. The room of the rising sun. It's busy right now. Room 69, there's a punter in there. What do you like, eh? What do you like? Do you like, eh? Do you like your poetry long or do you like your poetry fast and quick? I've got ever something for all tastes. Look at this. Comments. Hundreds of them for happy punters. I've been in the papers. Come on downstairs, son, don't be shy. Is it your first time or are you a poetry brothel virgin? <clears throat> Come in, we'll change that. Christopher, are you ready, son? This new punter, he's not been before. Tell him about it, Christopher, tell him. Oh, good, good, good evening, sir. The, the poetry brothel, well, the world's first poetry brothel. Well, I'll tell you about it. Poetry. It's always been a bit of an intimate experience, you know, you and the poem alone. Well, with the world's first poetry brothel, you can have the one-on-one -on -one poetry experience. Brighton's finest young poets prostituting themselves for your entertainment. You have the opportunity to spend a small amount of time upstairs in one of our rooms alone with a poet. Enjoy some intimate poetry. It really is an experience you're not going to forget. I think that just about covers it, Christopher. Now, we don't usually do this, but since you're a special punter, Christopher, how about a free poem for the gentleman? A free poem for the gentleman? Goodness me. Well, I imagine so. Just give, just give me a moment. Come on, Christopher, <coughs> man. Okay, Put me a okay, punter right, outside. Right, right, okay, okay. I shall give you a poem. <coughs> This poem is called Lines Written for a Beautiful Girl with a Glass Eye. Like Gordon facing Blunkett in a heated cabinet meeting, you rolled your eyes at me. I lowered my eyebrows one at a time, leant forwards and rolled them back. School was never going to be a kingdom of the blind. You were envious of the kid with the hair lip. As she came off better than you. So when you turned 18, we all clubbed together and got you one. You came around from the operation looking puzzled as we shouted, Surprise! I think maybe one more poem. What do you reckon, Jimmy? I think I can manage a short one. Now, as you can probably see before... I became the master of this brothel. I was a school teacher. However, the conditions in schools were dirty and filthy, and the pay was poor. My first poem for you today is going to be about my recollections of life as a school teacher. This is called Scenes from a Midlands Classroom, Volume 1, Poem Number 17. <coughs> Pizza. Today we are making pizzas. All the kids have got big, sharp knife. Tom looks at me. Siri says, if I stab you with this knife, I'll be famous in this school. Yes, Thomas, I reply to him. And if I take you into the forest and slit your throat, I will be famous all over the country. That shuts Tom up for five minutes. At break time, the headmistress asks me if she can have a word. <laughs> 